when, when people talk about impact in the martial arts, of course, you know, we, we talk about Bruce Lee, you know, been gone quite a long time and is still the most recognizable yeah. martial artist on the planet, made some significant contributions. Chuck Norris, also in that group. But from my outside perspective, Joe belongs in that group for the impact that he made oh, and yet... Oh, 100%. And yet... Well, you mentioned Bruce Lee. Here's what I think is interesting is that, you know, the first time Joe trained privately with Bruce Lee. And the first time that Bruce and Bruce asked Joe to train. And the first time he told Bruce no. <laughs> he wasn't interested in training in Kung Fu. Wasn't interested in luck. And then later, Bruce asked him again. And at that time, you know, going back to Joe's intellect, he told me, he goes, you know, at that the second time he asked me, Bruce had gotten more, uh, a little more philosophical and had gone away from his uh, classical Wing Chun and gotten more into, uh, I mean, he was one of the first people to really mix martial arts. I mean, that was, that was uh, Bruce's thing, sure. the Tao Ji Kune Do. And uh, I said the second time he asked me, um, because he was getting more into the philosophy stuff, I was more interested, mm. and so I did. And, uh, and and Joe pressure tested. I mean, he was out there competing and fighting, and he was the one that was actually pressure testing some of the uh, theories and concepts. So that's uh, and and on Joe's black belt certificate, he, he listed JKD methodologies. Mm. So uh, it, you know, among the things that you were learning uh, when you were training with. Uh, training with Joe.